Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update and the update is I've just purchased a new camera the Canon R7 and I bought it last week and just haven't had a chance to be able to get out and be able to test it at all. The weather has been absolutely atrocious for the last three weeks here in Hertz. We've had about 40% more rain this year than what we've actually had in the previous six years. Everywhere that I've been is completely flooded when I did go out but um, at least I managed to get out yesterday for the very first time and be able to shoot some uh, shots with the, the Canon R7 and you can't compare the the difference between the 90D which I was using before compared to the R7 it's absolutely marvelous now to be able to shoot in 32 megapixels which is actually defining the pictures a hell of a lot better more clarity more light in the pictures the video footage that I've shot so far absolutely phenomenal I've got nothing bad to say about the the Canon R7 at all and from coming from a mirrorless sorry coming from a DSLR onto a mirrorless and all the differences that is actually on the the camera itself is just chalk and cheese first of all let me just show you the the wheels that is actually on the back of the camera it's completely different all the buttons are actually in different places the only item that is actually the same is your back button focus which I use quite a lot so I'm pleased about and I actually find that using the back button focus and then using this joystick here that's actually next to it is a big help to me because what I do is I just press the joystick once to be able to centralize it to be able to get the autofocus in place and that helps to be able to lock everything in position here you can see that this is the R7 all of my lenses that was I had before in the past was all EF lenses so I've had to now purchase the EF to RF converter and this is a two times converter that's on and a hundred to four hundred lens what I was shooting with a lot before in the past was my Sigma 100 to 600 lens now that I'm using this two times converter because the two or should I say the three is actually very compatible with each other the eye tracking is getting on to focus straight away and it's like it's all part and parcel of the system I'm going to get on to the other lenses just now where I've noticed some slight differences with the lenses that I've actually got the way that I've actually set the uh, the Canon up at the moment is that um, I've got it first of all on AF servo I've got it on the subject animal tracking and then the eye detection as well I even though I don't shoot big bursts of pictures I've still gone for the the C raw setting of the camera because 
I just says to myself, let me start off there to make sure that I get no problems right in the beginning with the Bufferton issues that this camera is supposed to have. But uh, the way that I actually shoot, I don't think I'd have ever have that problem. But then again, if I'm in the scenario where I'm on a location where I've got birds that's in flight, therefore I could see that... Um, I would be shooting more bursts but I'd still only do short bursts at a time where I've shot owls before and I've shot um, marsh harriers and hen harriers and the reason being is that when I was using the 90D the 90D had a problem focusing all the time where hopefully with this camera I won't have that focus problem anymore and that's one of the main reasons that I've actually gone over to the uh, R7 now because I'm getting out more with the camera and doing other projects as well with the camera I'm using it more and more so this this might be something might become an issue should I say later on in the future but at the moment it's not not the same one of the big differences also on this camera is now I can constantly look through the lens all the time when I'm shooting photographs and I'm doing video footage doing the video footage I found that it's something that I'm gonna have to get used to I can't see on the viewfinder yet where it's showing me that it's in record therefore I'm always having to jump back and double check on the, the big screen to make sure that it's recording but uh, with the Canon 90D I always had to do all my video shooting on the looking through the viewfinder on the back of the camera where now as I say I'm looking through the uh, the viewfinder itself and it's amazing the difference you can't, can't even make a comparisons but this is still early days with this camera as well and I'm sure things is just gonna get a lot better as I get to know the the camera a lot better this is one of the other lenses that I started using right in the beginning when I've very first bought my first camera and today I've tested it out on the R7 and the, there's no comparison in the photographs because of the clarity and the definition that it's actually got as I say you can't compare it but the main thing is what I wanted to say it's working perfectly well with the EF to RF converter this is where my problem has actually begun with this third-party lens the Sigma 100 to 600 when I've got it connected just up to the converter I haven't got a problem when I put the two times converter on it's going back to my original problem where the autofocus didn't want to work at all and the reason that I'm talking about this is photography is not a cheap uh, profession or hobby you know it can actually work out quite expensive and I personally feel I wish other people had spoken to me right in the beginning of the best things to actually do but unfortunately I'm one of those people that want to dive into something straight away and I ended up buying a lot of junk right in the beginning I mean I've got three 
different types of tripods, two different types of monopods. I've got about five different bags and a lot of it has just been a waste of money. It's stuff that's just lying inside the cupboard now. So, as I say, what I want to put across is that when you're out there and you're starting to spend money like what these type of things is actually costing because when you start looking at costs with this you've got your Canon R7 there you're looking at £1,400 you've got your EF to RF converter that's another £120 this adapter the two times converter that I've got there you're looking at another hundred pound and then you've got the price of this lens as well which is probably about one thousand five hundred pounds so just to be able to try and save you guys some money I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up is have a little bit of patience get to know your camera go on to YouTube listen to some of the videos that's actually out there on the products that you're interested in and sum it up listen carefully to what people are saying and that way you're going to end up not making a lot of stupid purchases so I didn't want to make this uh, a very long video today it was just uh, putting everybody in the picture that if they've they notice a difference in my photography or video footage in the future that they know what's actually happened and the both the videos and the photographs as I was saying is absolutely chalk and cheese I'm really looking forward to going away now and getting some good subjects to photograph and being in the right place at the right time and I hope you guys are going to be there to be able to follow it and hopefully it interests you so I'll catch you on the the next video guys take care in the meantime and hopefully I've given you a little bit of food for thought so enjoy the rest of your day